First of all, there's no definitive or, if you will, final classification, it all depends. Perhaps it would be wise to start by asking if the study wants to describe what's happening or quantify a relationship, with us identifying two very broad categories. 1. Descriptive studies, which try to paint a picture of what's happening in a population, for example, a. Case reports, where doctors simply describe what happened to individual patients, b. Case series, which track, for example, patients who have received a similar treatment, c. Surveys, and so on. 2. Analytic studies, which try to identify and quantify a relationship between factors like a certain intervention or exposure on an outcome. When it comes to analytic studies, we have to ask ourselves if the researcher was passively or actively involved and identify two main subcategories. A. Experimental studies, also called randomized controlled trials, where participants are put in at least two groups by actively involved researchers and exposed to different things. For example, one group receiving the actual treatment and one group receiving quote-unquote fake placebo pills. B. Observational analytic studies, where the researcher just observes outcomes after, let's say, exposure to risk factors. For example, B1. Cohort studies, where a group that has already had exposure to whatever you want to measure is compared to one that hasn't. B2. Cross-sectional studies, where you analyze data at a specific point in time. B3. Case control studies, where groups that have a certain characteristic are compared to groups that don't. Each type will be analyzed in detail through future videos. For now, just know there are a lot of them.